Hello my YouTube world, this is Johnny Mill here doing a product review of our Zero Turn Snapper Pro. Um, this will be unbiased, I'll tell you everything I like, everything I don't like. Um, right off the bat I can tell you I don't like the 52, only because it's a 52 guys. <laughs> I bought this last year, um, we, had, we were running 60s, I thought that this would be a great mower for us to just a little niche mower, we can get into certain places maybe. Uh, a little easier. Uh, it turned out the 60 goes everywhere it needs to go and even more. Um, and the 52, um, just not a very productive mower for us. Uh, we do large properties um, and even our smaller properties I'm able to take this 60 inch on. Um, so just not a, a very uh, good mower for us as, as of right now. Um, it's not used as much as the 60, not even close. Uh, we'll probably put between five, six hundred hours on that. We'll probably put 150 to 200 hours to use as a secondary mower. Uh, I just sold a 60 inch Snapper Pro a few months ago. Uh, probably going to buy another 60 inch Zero Turn. Um, probably Snapper Pro. We've been happy with them. We've been running them for about four to five years. Uh, maybe three to four, I can't remember. Before that was Ferris. I uh, love the Ferris. Owned by the same corporation, Briggs, Briggs and Stratton. Um, good mowers guys very well built so much value for what you're paying for and what I mean by that is take for instance this 150 uh, it has the 5400 transaxle pumps in it that's huge for a mower that size and there's no other company out there that's giving you the 5400 tra transaxles they're giving you the 30s 30 300 3000 series you know lesser lesser pump and what that means is it's it, it's wor it doesn't work as hard on a 52 as maybe those 3100s would and uh, very well built mower guys just uh, I like the mower uh, things I don't like number one is 52 number two I don't like the engine I don't think they're very commercial uh, they say they are commercial I don't know that they are um, we had to turn the governor up just to get it to perform well with the baggers um, you know uh, other than that it's, it's a solid machine it has a plenty of power since I turned the governor up and uh, I know you're not supposed to do that, but in order for us to cut out in the field in real world settings, not I'm not talking about the settings outside your factory where the grass has just been cut two days ago and you're out there shooting a video with cutting off, um, you know, maybe an inch where we're out there cutting off five to six inches and we're really putting them through the ringer. Um, quality of cut on the ICD deck for the 52 is good. I will say it is not good and when you get up into the higher settings the three and a half and three and three quarters we are in cool season grasses and i cut high 95 percent of my lawns are all high uh, high maintenance fertilized accounts um, so it does not like to cut in those higher settings meaning it will leave stringers some remanufacturing that we've done we've taken the stripe kit off which was a piece of garbage uh, don't know why they even put one on there other than um, just for added, I don't know what why they even put it on there. It, it actually cut worse with it on there because it would just bring up um, grasses that grow sideways like coarse fescues. And, and if you have any crabgrass in any of your lawns, it would not cut crabgrass. It would just stand it straight up, causing you to have to go over it twice. Pulled that off, fixed the issue. Um, the ICD deck is a great deck. It throws a great pattern out there. Um, so uh, if you're in the market for an S150 XT, it's a very good mower, very poor on gas. Um, but when you're dealing with a bigger engine size, you're not really caring too much about the gas. You're just out there to make some money and not bog down. Terrible on hillsides, not a mower you want to put on a hillside either. Um, I do regret the Snapper Pro S150 XT. It's a very comfortable ride mower, very fast, quick mower. Do not take it on the hillsides. All right, over here we have the Snapper Pro S200 XT. Very good mower, awesome mower. Um, we've had to do a little bit of remanufacturing on the decks. Uh, what I mean by that is we had to switch the, the, the standard high lift blade out to the low lift blade to get the quality of cut we wanted. Um, the high lift was overwhelming the decks in high grass, causing it to make a funny pattern. So we talked to the the manufacturer a couple times they couldn't figure it out it must be northern grass sorry da 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 
So we put on the low lift blades and took care of that issue. Um, this has the 35 Vanguard, very powerful, uh, will suck gas. Uh, if you're worried about gas, then you're in trouble, my friends. <laughs> the, last, the one I just sold had a 32 Vanguard in it. I love the engine. There is one issue with the engine, though. It does have vapor locking issues. Uh, we're working with the factory right now trying to um, compensate for that. It's not working out. I've done everything that I possibly can do. They're doing some testing in the in the factories on the 90 degree hot days. Uh, she will vapor lock on you in the middle of the day and she just doesn't like to run very well. Um, this one here does not have the vapor locking issue, only the Vanguard. My 32 also had the vapor lock issue and there's nothing like cutting uh, condominium association you're dead square in the middle of it and you want to get done and go home and your mower vapor locks uh, we haven't had much of an issue this year with vapor locking only because it's been a very cool year uh, I did shorten the runs for the I'll show you I did shorten the runs for the gas switch over um, this run right here if you can see uh, I shortened it so that way it's a it's not as a big of a draw from that far tank to this switch to this engine so um, we did shorten that we did pull the uh, airline out to where it breathes off against the engine they had it wrapped tight around the engine and I pulled it off because it, it was heating up and I think that had a lot to do with it and maybe that's why it's not uh, doing as much now um, very good engine very powerful I recommend it highly. I've never ran anything more powerful than that. I could cut anything. I could bag anything. Um, we, we side discharge and rebag with them. The side discharging on these are very well. The 62 does not side discharge as well as the 52. The 52 side discharge is better, but the 61 does side discharge very well. The bagging units are the best in the industry. I don't care what anyone says. I can bag anything. There's nothing I can't bag with these seven eight inches of grass taken off right through the bagger um, very powerful very powerful uh, we're running snapper pros just because of the price gave them a shot i ended up liking them i have spare parts because i've owned snapper pros for three to four years and then briggs uh, ferris before that and the ferris parts fit on this mower because they're made in the same factory owned by the same manufacturer and that's what we are now doing I did buy a Toro two years ago, 60 inch zero turn. We ran Toro for many years, probably six, seven years. Uh, the price just got out of hand with them when they, when the units crossed over the $10,000 mark. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about the series units. I'm not talking about the 3000 series. The, it's a smaller unit. Um, I'm talking about the big units, um, the G6s. Uh, those units are, are very expensive. I think I paid $9,000 for the Snapper Pro with the 35. If you were going to go get this in an X mark with the 54 uh, pumps, all the bells and whistles, the the uh, the seats, I'm telling you right now, you're looking at 13, 14, even upwards to 15,000 in some of those units, like Skag units. I like Skag. I like the way they cut. Um, just not going to pay $14,000 for a unit or 13.5 or 13.1 when I can get this for nine uh, and save money and do the same job that you're going to do. It's all about investing in the business, uh, ROI, return on investment. The Snapper Pro here was only $6,000. I had the bagging system from previous units, so I was able to just swap it over. We have three bagging uh, units, so it's, it's easy to swap them over. Um, we bag a lot in the spring. We don't bag in the summer, and we are back to bagging now in the fall because of the um, the leaves and we do have a manufacturer a little shoot blocker if you can see this we just took a piece of rubber and took it around the metal here and and we put that on the shoot blocker when we just want to grind up some leaves and then we can bag them up I drilled a hole in that little that little uh, nut thing they gave you to hold the the shoot on I just used the shoot metal did some did some manufacturing on some rubber floor mats and there you have it it works it's good enough it's not costing me uh, six hundred dollars for OCDC shoot that you can't take on and off we, we need to be able to bag when we want to bag 
uh, side discharge when we want to side discharge. Uh, these baggers come off in seconds. Literally pull the belt off, take the two pins out, it's over. You take it off, rip it off from the back, you're side discharging. And we do that quite a bit during the day. We'll side discharge, we'll bag. Uh, has to be very quick and easy for us to do it. Again, these are the best baggers in the industry. Um, upright baggers are the best, meaning um, that grass goes in there and gets thrown right back. Whereas uh, like baggers like Toro and Xmark, they are uh, side baggers. They create airflow, very little fan touching the, uh, the grass, and these are the best baggers. Uh, can do a lot of damage that's a metal bagging system so you gotta watch I've taken out a mailbox before but guys this is my review on the snapper pro ICD deck um, good machine like it a lot well worth the value you're getting so much value when you buy a snapper pro um, I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna sit here and tell you right now that these snapper pros cut better than X mark or Toro or even skag they cut well they cut good enough that uh, it's not worth the extra four thousand dollars I'll tell you that but if someone were to give me an X mark I take it definitely it's it's a great mower we've owned them uh, they got out they just got outrageous with their their pricing we've owned Toro for a long time we went X mark first Toro then we went to Ferris I, I only tried Ferris out because um, Toro got out of hand they got out of hand with their pricing and I found an X mark dealer who gave me a good deal on a 54 inch Triton or 56 Triton I had that a month that was garbage and uh, I took it back I took an $800 loss on it I used it for a month I put about I think 125 hours on it and I was able to sell it back to them I took an $800 loss then I bought the Ferris I love the Ferris the um, the ride of a Ferris the, the the old Ferris did not have the ICD systems uh, I put 4,700 and some hours 4,749 hours on it and I just sold it last year it was a backup um, sold it for 1750 bucks but it I mean when I turned it in it was it was done I had welded the frame a couple times so uh, then we went with the snapper pros and that's what we've been going with I don't know that we'll stay that way forever but that's what we're going with all right guys time to go to work have a good one